Good morning, class. I hope you're doing well today. This assignment has to do with telling people, telling people, showing people, demonstrating to people. Someone comes and wants to know how to, how to make a cake, how to cross the street, how to put your socks on. I'm assuming that you can do something, okay? Even if it's tie your shoe. Let me give you a demonstration. Since I've been trimming trees since 1962, to tell you a little bit about uh, trees. Let's start with preparation. First of all, you have to make sure that all your ropes, you, all the ropes that you are going to use on that tree, you have to un, unroll them, unravel them, and go through inch by inch, foot by foot, yard by yard. Make sure there are no nicks. Make sure there are no stiff stiff places, no sand or, uh, uh, or gravel in them, and you get them all rolled out and lined up, uh, no kinks or anything else. You make sure that your saw is sharp, you make sure that your saw is gas and oiled, you make sure that all the tools that you are going to uh, use in that tree are ready to go because you don't want to get 60, 70, 80 feet up in the air and find out that you forgot something. Once you've got all your equipment ready to go, you've got to get into the tree. Some people use a ladder to get into the tree. However, unless you put a rope into the tree first, a ladder is very unstable and it's very dangerous. So you're going to have to learn how to put, put a weight on the end of your line and throw it through a fork as high as you can go and then flip that line until the weight comes down. Now you put a bowline, you've got your saddle, you've got your saddle, you put a bowline in that saddle, now you're tied into that rope and you've got the other end. Your ground man holds the other end. Now he's got you. Now you can use your ladder. The most important safety tip on on, on trimming trees is to stay tied in at all times. Once you're up at the top of the tree, you survey the crown and you choose where you're going to tie in that will allow you to work each section. Always be able to use both hands. If you have to hang onto the tree, you're not tied in properly because it takes two hands to use a chainsaw. You might tie in over here and then you tie in over here again. You may throw another line, now you're tied in three times. It doesn't matter if it takes an extra 15 minutes, at least you're free to use that chainsaw with both hands. Now, you tell me how to do something. How to, that's your assignment. Buen suerte and good luck at the same time.